Oh my god, it's been quite some time. And we are here back in the world. Here are all our pets, all fine. Oh, that's weird. Speaking of pets, you might be able to hear it. My cat is meowing. And I think he wants food, but... Yeah, the bug where they entered East despawn apparently is fixed. Uh, if it does happen, I have a backup of the world. Which, um... Is before they despawn. But, as you will have seen from that clip before, we went underground here to the new terrain. And yes, there is new ter terrain in Minecraft 1.18. That's what this video is all about, because we will be checking it out. And the thing that really was cool to see is Deep Slate here instead of Bedrock. Like, because this was all generated in 1.16, there's no way for Bedrock to be here. But yeah, there is it now, and wow, I have a bunch of garbage in my inventory. Oh wait, that was from before. But yeah, if we go down here, it leads us to the new area, and let's fly in and not die. I mean, we shouldn't die, it's pretty easy actually. So yeah, let's go down. You can hear my computer whirring a bit. Oh, and yeah, I think that's... This is like some parity thing between... Um, Bedrock Elytra and Java Elytra. Now, Bedrock Elytra actually made more sense, but now we've got the funny weird bouncing along that Java has, which is honestly kind of cool because it actually makes traversing kind of easy. But yeah, here we have a a, a small size cave for 1.18, but a massive size cave for 1.17. I honestly want to find something else other than this. Is there anything bigger around here? Doesn't seem to be. Oh, diamonds. Honestly, I don't really need them, but cool to have them. Get some more of them, because I'm trying to get a bunch of them. Uh, some deep slate and stuff. Yeah, so we have deep slate, and we can get copper, deep slate, and that at our place, because it used to be you'd have to fly thousands of blocks. And now this is actually really useful, but. 1.18 is a bit buggy. I don't think they should have released it yet. It probably isn't ready to come out yet, but because the reason why. Oh, okay, yeah, that's not the way to go. The reason why I'm saying that is because um, 1.18 has a lot of bugs, which I'll show you. And it's nice not to have the weird glitchy stuff that realms have, because I used to play on this world on a realms when the bug was there but yeah okay let's go to some new terrain and i think i might have the closest way to go so we'll fly over there and like it's nice to have a bunch of levels again because like the oregon smp i do have quite a lot of levels but it is not as much and yeah this episode will be all about traversing the new terrain oh god these new or likely changes are already making me oh they're really weird because if, I'm pretty sure before if you were in a, t a too high spot you weren't able to activate your elytra but now you are. How much golden carrots? I'm pretty sure before I had to stop playing in my world my plan was to make a, a bunch of golden carrots using just gold but because of the reasons because of those reasons that um, everything was buggy I was unable to do that. And one thing we should check just first is if, um, over here, oh no, not these ender borders that, um, almost killed me that one time and stuff. Oh, and there's that farm, my iron farm over there. This seems to be all of them. Yeah, that is all of them. I thought it was weird because I remembered there being four animals. One of them was actually Dinnerbone because he survived the, gl the glitches. But no, apparently, um, no, actually, yeah, I moved in a boat over there, so that's why there wasn't anyone there. And now, let's go check the villagers. Things could just totally backfire and everything be gone after this episode, so all this progress in this episode will be lost. But honestly, that I don't really care too much. And of course, Jimmy is still safe. And hopefully the villagers are, and anyways, I'll stop. This intro has been too long and stuff. So we will get into the actual episode, which I'm really excited about. It's like, this cave base too can probably be extended quite a bit now. That's 
need to rain. Oh my god, it's been such a long time since I've been down here. Don't know what to do with those diamonds, but just hang on to them. You know, those chickens are probably honestly gone from this stuff. And let's actually enter our slime farm to see how that's doing. Because, oh yeah, the lighting changes will mean that the stuff can spawn. And yeah, everything seems pretty normal. These gaps, that's because there was nothing there and there was also nothing up there. Yeah, it was pretty much half complete, but... Okay. Um, uh, hmm, where is the slime farm? Oh, okay, so that's where the slime farm is. Let's hopefully get down here. And yeah, everything's, all the minecarts are still okay. Oh god, this is not that good of a situation to be in. Oh god, it's nice having a really fast pickaxe, and it's weird having stone again. Um, this doesn't seem like too good of a situation to be in right now. Okay, goodbye. And is this wood? Um, I really do not know what I'm doing. Okay, that's stone. Okay. Um, I've made a mess now, trying to get down there, but anyways, new terrain, that's what we're here for. Yeah, there's nothing there anyways. Okay, so let's go to the new terrain. Oh, random shulker boxes. Yeah, it's, I forgot what it's like to be an in-game player having a bunch of random stuff around and this wheat f farm. Wow, it's quite nice having like, because like an SMP is cool because like there's so, there's a bunch of buildings, but... You didn't build those buildings. It's something special about just everything here was made by me. But yeah, anyways, stop stalling. Let's fly to the new terrain. Okay, so it's time to fly off. And um, it could very well be that um, all the entities here despawn as soon as we leave the chunks. Because that's also how the glitch sometimes happens. be interesting to see. Oh yeah, some of the snow golems are here. These guys are from before. Um... Oh, no, nah, it mustn't have been loaded in, because there's that zombie that hijacked our plane, if you remember that um, video that blew up. 3.4 thousand views. Oh, God. Chunks are not loading in fast. Not this problem again. Uh, okay, so... Yeah. This is an old problem I used to get back on my old iPad when I played in this world on 1.16. So I guess we got to take it slow, but meet you at the new terrain well i guess um it came up saying as soon as i updated saying oh your game it recommends for the device you play on to play on six chunks render distance which is terrible so i chose my normal which has always worked fine for me 16 chunks but now that we've updated and everything is different it's not so good you know there should be parody changes that allow me to fly out of here or something with the light show because like yeah well didn't work but this way i've only recently explored a lot this way for trying to find bees this was all unexplored but there's quite a lot of villages here actually honestly yeah things aren't loading in that well okay guess we just fly slowly and hopefully we get we get there and find some new terrain. I want to find some mountains and powdered snow. Because if you remember from episode 64, I think it was, where we broke bedrock. Powdered snow is hard to get. Well, pre-1.18, but you know what I mean. Well, it's been a while since I've used a lighter, so I'm a bit rusty, but... Okay, fly through the trees. Yeah, I think there are some elytra changes, I think nerfs, I think, mainly, but I don't, I think, don't firework rockets not do as powerful boosts now, which is, I guess, kind of cool. Okay, hopefully there should be a giant terrain border somewhere around here. Is this new terrain? And also, yeah, it will be interesting loading up this world seed on the new terrain. Okay. We'll be able to tell soon, hopefully. The windswept hills, I'm thinking this is. Okay, the the way you tell... up, oh, falling all down. The way you tell it's new terrain is by the height it gets to. Hmm, this is about average height for pre-1.18 mountains, so I think we're going to have to go further. 
might have been here before. I don't know. Honestly, everything is plains in the east side of my world, which is what I think this is. Oh, and now we start to see the new terrain. The reason why you can tell is, yeah, a giant half tree cut in half. and Oh, yeah, this is some fairly 1.18 looking terrain. That is definitely 1.18. This is a weird experience in my world because... The changes between 1.16 and 1.17 were just like, you know, new blocks in the ground. But this is changes everything. You know, I'm kind of glad I made my world in 1.16 now, so we get a bit of both. Was that a village over there? Ah, oh, yeah, it was, but I don't really care. This is like a new biome, I think. All of these are kind of new biomes. Windswept hills. Windswept hills just have a little bit of changes to them. Like, they go higher now. And yeah. These are light changes are weird. I'm starting to notice them. And yeah, that's a nice cave. Yeah, so this is... I don't... I'm not sure if they could normally go up to 114, but they do now. Honestly, this does sort of seem like new terrain. It's quite cool. It's like mountainous stuff. Oh god, I'm fumbling down. Yeah, you can see like all the new caves around. There's less cave entrances, but they're more bigger. I don't really need that. Oh god okay well a notification popped up but i don't grab any of this stuff because like I'm, I'm already really far into the game now i'm practically very end game except some stuff could be a little bit better enchanted and yeah i think one of the changes is um back oh yeah you can see this mountain goes really high this is 131 they couldn't go this high before and also like this is a birch mountain too Pretty sure now, I, I I might be wrong on this, but every biome can be a massive, well not just a hill, but we're looking for the the actual new mountains. Hopefully they come soon and we can see some new stuff. This is probably making my world size a lot bigger. It's honestly going to be interesting to load up this world in 1.18 on like a new, a new seed, you know what I mean? And so maybe we should try that at the end of the episode and see what everything looks like. And yeah, this is this has been fairly plain 1.18 terrain. Please get us to a mountain soon. I remember in the experimental features, they were quite common, these mountains. But is this the start of one? Because like I always found that what are those meadow things called in 1.18? Experimental features and sometimes the big mountains. Yeah, these caves are really cool. Actually, I don't think this one goes too deep. Yeah, that's a fairly plain one. And if the, if you found this cave in 1.17, you'd be like, what the hell is this cave? It's massive. But now in 1.18, everything seems small. And yeah, I'm passing up more villages. It's weird because there wouldn't be villages here before the update. Oh god, look at all these caves. They're pretty cool. Things just seem a little bit different about. 1.18 like I feel like for some reason all the terrain is like a lot more smoother between biomes I know that's a probably a thing and you don't see as much like stones in the side of hills now which is sub like sort of like well you probably haven't really noticed it I mean I'm not really sure because I never really noticed it before but you know like there used to be like stone and stuff it bits of stone in the side of mountains Okay, this could be promising as a new mountain. Or no, I think it's just plain terrain again. Wow, we're already really far away. Whoa, what the heck? I didn't know they added meteor craters to Minecraft. This literally looks like it's a crater, except with like the little mountain-y bit in the middle from the impact. Wow, this is actually really cool looking. You know, maybe I might take a bit of the thumbnail here, even though I want it in a mountain. Oh, okay, yeah, that oh, oh, almost tripped off the edge there. Not good. Okay, let's take just one picture and then, you know, be off on our adventures because we are trying to find a mountain today. And yeah, I don't want to fall down there. Even though, like, I've, I haven't really been too used to feather falling lately because, like, I before I used to just jump off massive cliffs and then I, kn I know I'd be fine because I had feather falling. But now it's like um being on a new minecraft world and starting all over again is sort of like um messed up my 
brain in a sort of like my instincts are different and it was a bit weird at first like jumping off cliffs thinking I had a light or feather falling and always killing myself but yeah I got too used to that now and now I'm not used to this being in the end game well I guess I do have netherite gear but we still haven't even fought the ender dragon that's honestly close because um, if you remember last episode of the Awoken SMP we got tried to get some blade ro- blaze rods I might add but yeah, um, eventually the person I was going to the fortress with, Nighthawk, got some blaze rods. So we'll be fighting the dragon soon, which is cool, because, I mean, I want to get to the end game. Okay, seriously, I'm going to, my world size is going to pass over 200 megabytes. Now, oh god, it's like some, another massive hole. The e- oh god, I hate these elytra changes, even though you Java players are probably used to the fumbling around and stuff. Well, like, honestly, people complain about Bedrock not having as much features, but, like, stuff like that, I seemed, I, I, th- I thought, like, that makes sense why that isn't in, why, why it's like that on Bedrock, and it might, and it doesn't the way it is on Java, but, like, now with Parity, they sort of favor more to Java features, so if the Bedrock and Java have a difference, they sort of added the Java thing to Bedrock, and sort of, I wish it was different with these Elytra things, like, because on Java Edition, you'd always jump around and stuff and do crazy stuff. But the one parity feature is you still have to craft a boat using this way. Which is always very fun. Okay, I have a netherite hoe too. I always, I forgot about that. Netherite hoes are so useless, but just keep it because it's cool. Let's fly through this arc that's been generated now. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Still no terrain, and we're like 7,000 blocks away from home. Is this another crater? It looks like a bit of smaller one. I know craters are like a thing in jungle biomes or something. I've seen them there. But like, that was a massive crater. And plus also too, that's like, um, not in the jungle biome, of course. But yeah. And uh, I've sort of been playing some other games lately so a bit slow on the uploads but barely noticeable because yeah okay so we are flying to the new biomes hopefully soon yeah I really have bad luck and it's pretty annoying with my render distance to how things aren't loading in as good as they used to this 1.18 and stuff oh and yeah we've ended up into a village you know what we can sleep here honestly there's an iron golem nothing too different about villages in this update. I swear, seriously, our mountain biomes are rare because I don't remember them being. Maybe they just scaled it up for like testing reasons. But now, yeah, of course, nothing, well, things aren't. Oh god. Okay, we might have to use our boat now. I'm definitely noticing less oceans, but hopefully we find something soon. Since I was ready to turn around, we found the greatest 1.18 biome. Stony Shores. Yeah, I haven't been really having that good luck at stuff, so I'm saying, honestly, whoa. Yeah, we just hop down here, see what we can craft, and then build a portal and head back home, because the portal is so easy yet to travel through. Honestly, a light gliding through the end, I mean, nether. Don't know how it's going to go, but yeah. We can find a mountain biome another day, but um yeah, I'm really intrigued to see what the world looks like on the new 1.18 terrain, because the seed would look totally different now, even, because it's been the same for, it, I, I assume it's been the same in like, since like 1.14 stuff, pretty similar at least, I mean maybe the last, whoa. This is a pretty big cave. At least we found this. Honestly, getting lost. Where was I going? I need to f- find my way down. Whoa. Oh, what? This is much bigger than I thought they were. This is insane. Are we ready to fly through? Let's see. Let's take a thumbnail picture, but hopefully it goes well.
yeah, okay, <laughs> it's a bit dark, but it'll look kind of cool because it'll be more ominous -y. Yeah, you've been watching me make the thumbnail as we go along. So yeah, the reason, the thing we're doing now is trying to find a portal. And uh, that is going to be quite easy. Oh, what? This is insane. You wouldn't want your lightly to break around here. Okay, let's grab our 14 big axe. We want about two of these. Two, I mean, buckets at least. That's what I'm hoping for so I can build a portal here. Whoa, okay. Um, tuck this in to the lava. And then, yeah, there's some footsteps going on upstairs. Hopefully you don't mind that. But this is... Oh yeah, I realised we don't have any stone stuff, but it's okay. We have a bunch of stuff in our chest. Resources to get us through. Stand, sandstone and stuff. St stony stuff. Oh god, I'm really fumbling when I'm saying stuff right now. I don't know why. Okay. Stone. This was hard to get. Okay, yeah. Was it a success of a journey? Not really, but it was a fun one. Okay, so there we can craft one. Let's make up these things and then, yeah, pretty much leave. Okay, yep. Yeah. Honestly, it's been. I haven't played in this world for so long now. Because Minecraft were very slow in fixing this bug. They didn't even really mention fixing this bug. It was like, there was just a bug fix for it. And then they didn't even say anything. It might have even been an accidental bug fix, and that's why it wasn't really mentioned. Yeah, there's some glow squid ink there. Things are weird. Oh no, creeper. Please, no. Things are definitely different in this update. Hopefully, I mean, there could be an even worse bug that ruins things now, but hopefully not. Think positive. Um, yeah, I honestly don't know what to say because I've played Minecraft in this world for so long. Pretty good to be back, but... Okay. You should die now because I hit you and then that sword's pretty good. And now it's pretty much time to go back. Hopefully I should have the stuff that is needed to build a portal. I think I do. At least. Okay, sorry for all that noise my dog is causing some trouble, I think. Oh. Ah, you. Die, die, both of you. Okay, yeah. That was the creeper from before, I think. So we can build our portal here, It is is the cool thing. There's already some water there, so we can place this here. Then, two blocks away. That was not two blocks away. That was three. Okay, there. Okay, now let's play some more. Yeah, I'm not, I'm no speedrunner, but I'm running out of things to say. Okay. What is this spider doing? Um, yeah, how do I do this? Will this turn to obsidian? Yeah, it will. Okay, so if we overlap them like that, it turns to obsidian or something. So we, we place this there, then place this here. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to cut the head until I get home. So goodbye. Okay, so we are back and our pets are still alive. Good to see it. They didn't die and yeah, we came back empty handed, which is not good. But um, it was an interesting adventure. The only thing we probably accomplished is increasing our world size so that's what i'm going to look at to see how massive my world is now oh 213 megabytes okay i think they changed something to do with loading so it's only past 213 megabytes i mean that's pretty big but it's fine oh god i remember when my world was 27 megabytes and i thought it was massive okay, so we can delete this old backup which Wait, let's just check if the mobs are still there. So, yeah, this is basically, like, the process in which I 
um, back up my world and stuff. So I'm just waiting it to load. So we can see if our stuff is still there, our pets and stuff, you know. Because I don't want them gone. Okay, so hurry up. This might be a really long episode to edit, so I'm sorry about that. Because I really want to go check what my world looks like now in this update. I used to know the seed off by heart, but now that I haven't really used that seed in a while, it's just been like, you know, um, forgotten. But I know a bit like it's 1333 three, three something, I don't know. Honestly, I've probably shown the scene on camera before. The weird thing was in 1.17, the abandoned village near my base became a normal village. Yeah, the problem is in 1.17, things take a lot longer to load, so... Hopefully the entities haven't despawned, or you'll be seeing it live on camera. Okay, so they should, in theory, be there. And I think I see the tip of their heads. Yeah, see? Everything's fine. Okay, let's leave and delete that all back up, because I don't want my storage all filled. And then we'll load up a world and new stuff, you know. Okay, this is the old backup. I mean, we didn't really accomplish much, so it wouldn't be too annoying if we lost it. Just need to take one quick look at the seeds so we can load it up in the new thing. One, three, 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 two, seven, nine, three, five, five. Okay, so one, three, 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 two, seven, nine, three, five, five. I think I got it right. Okay. Creative and yeah, I'll see you in it. Whoa. This is not as cool as I thought it would be, but yeah, this is what my world is now. You'd load in here. Normally, like, the mountain with my base in it would be, like, right there, but there's no mountain there. The plains village would probably be about where this mountain is. Oh, and why can't we get the mountains in that old world? And this is probably... Um, I'm thinking where this would be. This would be in the plains in between the tiger, which is over that way. So, we, yeah, we do have some massive stuff. The only similarity is we spawn facing a river, and that's basically it. But yeah, this is what my world looks like now. And this, well, if you load it up nowadays, but... So, yeah, things are quite different, and I don't know how I feel about losing it and stuff. But, oh, there's some marble, which we can find. Is this marble? Calcite, oh yeah. Keep on forgetting the names and stuff. Okay, so yeah, well, goodbye. That was the end of the episode.